Hi everyone, my name is Liam. I'm here today at Let's Riff Drum Studios and I'm going to be taking you through a linear funk groove which I quite like to use in my playing quite a bit. So I'm going to break this groove down into four short parts um, which make up the whole groove. It's based on 16th notes, so the first part is between the bass drum and the hi-hat and the count is just one E and A uh, and that's the first part and I'm just going to show you that now. So the second part of the groove we're going to look at incorporates the snare drum and it replaces the bass drum that we had in the first part. So the count is now 2 E and A uh, um, and the first note is going to be the snare instead of the kick and I'll show you that now. So the third part of the groove has a slight break in it. There's a, there's a gap instead of the bass drum now on the first part. So the count is 3 E and A. Uh, and instead of playing what we did with kick, hat, hat, kick, we're just going to go rest, hat, hat, kick, which gives it a nice little broken feel as well and get, makes it a little bit funky. So the last part of the groove um, is very similar to the, to the second part. We bring the backbeat back in on four, and in, but instead of finishing it with a kick, we have an open hi-hat on the and. So the count is now just four E and, and on that and you're going to open the hat, and that takes us back over to one to start the groove again. So now I'm going to show you the whole thing slowly at first, uh, putting all four parts together and, and then I'm going to speed it up a little. And here it is a little faster, more up to, tem more up to the tempo you might use it at. So I'm just going to show you a variation on this. It doesn't change sticking, um, but we can move it around the toms and this helps to you know, give us a, a feel for the groove that we can use which doesn't uh, take us too far outside of the feel that we're trying to create by using a linear pattern. So for the variation what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my right hand around the toms which gives us that, that feel type feel because we're moving around the kit. I'll show you that now. So now I'm going to show you them back to back, first the groove and then the variation. Here it is. So as a second variation, I'm going to swing the groove now, uh, more in the vein of the meters, like we said earlier, and I'm going to show you that now first with the groove and then the fill as well so you can see the whole the whole variation is a swing idea. Here it is. So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, short uh, linear funk groove. There's plenty of places you can still take this. You can move your right hand over to the ride, to the cowbell, uh, or even just keep it on the floor tom. So hopefully that will give you plenty of extra exploration options that you can, you can take this groove when you play it yourself. Hope you have fun. Thanks for watching.